You know, it's funny. My mother had an artist she was uh, managing. She had a chance to like uh, do community work for him. Okay. And uh, I ended up uh, getting close to one. We definitely right. became best friends. Right. So I'm, I thought to myself, I said, yo, maybe he could be a big rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? I right. believe in him. Right. Like, I, hey, Gucci, I believe in you. Right. Bro. I'm with you. So I started from right there. I said, you know what I'm going to be? I'm about to learn my first job I ever uh, outside of anything. I'm, I'm going to be your assistant, bro. Right. I'm going to be your security. I'm going to have to be a role. But this stuff, I never knew these titles. But this is what I was doing. I, hey, bro, you can't even pick a bag up. You're a star. So that's what I was well, on. Oh, you have all that. Oh, of course. If he get out, if, if I help him blow up, I'm gone. That's and we created a we created a company together. We was like, yo, let's take this to the next level. And that's what I did. So on that, I learned how to be security, role manager, assistant, booking agent. I learned all these roles. So when I seen God, God put me in a new atmosphere, I didn't take that gift for granted. Right. I took it and went up with it. Right. And that's what, and thank God for that today. So your mom was was a manager or helped oh, get help get Gooch started. Yeah, my mother was super one. Right. And so, that, and so you 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 tagged along. You jumped on Gucci coattails. Say, hey, bro, we we you yeah, going to nah, the top? Pull me with you. All jokes aside, my mother told me she's like a walker. I you need to go on a roll with him, try it out. Cause I couldn't do it. I feel like if I chase him, it's like you know we from the hood. It's like meat rider. You know, like, right. I'm not gonna meat ride this guy. Right. But my mother's like, yo, walker, just do it. I need you to do this. And I right. thought like, this is my mother investment. Right. So at least if I'm gonna go out here hard for for gangs or crews. I need to go hard for my mother's investment. Right. If I'm willing to take a bullet in the street, I need to take a bullet for her investment. So right. I'm like, I'm going to die to make sure he go. Right. And I, I really felt like that. I really felt like whoever touched this man, I'm going to prison. Right. Y'all don't leave him alone. Wow. I'm 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 a man, I'm trying to jump over. You the you floor. about it, but about it. I'm about it today. But I'm not gonna <laughs> risk my life for it. Right. Yeah. You spoke about your mom and she's helped Nicki Minaj, French Montana, Yo Gotti. What what exactly did she do that you was like, man, my mom got a real honest hustle. Bro, let me leave these streets. Let me get me all this hustle. Yeah, well, besides your guy, I ain't know about her. But, uh, you know, my mother, my superhero. Right. My whole life. Are you the only child? Nah. Okay. We love our mother. Right. Like, we, I'm like my mother's goon. Like, I used to, like, literally hide and follow my mother. Like, somebody's like, yo, Miss Deborah over here, I go over there. Like, I actually watched my mother as a kid kicking prostitution houses, grabbing little girls out of them. Right. Fighting pimps. Like, my mom was just a different breed of a woman. Right. So I used to just look like, yo, how can I complain and it's a woman doing right. it? Right. Right. And she just, she everything, bro. I wouldn't, I, I give everything to my mother. Like, in music, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a smooth ride, but it could have been way worse if I didn't have her around. So it, for you, is rap a family business? So, nah. Nah. Hell no. Nah. So it's about to become a family business. But as as you saw your mom doing what you do, you say she now nah, she a hustler. See, my yes. mother, yeah, she's a, a full blown. hustler. Is that where you get your hustle? From? Definitely, definitely. Well, she she the truth. So what, how how does she teach you about business? Because you say you didn't really know anything about business, but you saw her. She had to have a good game plan together because some of these big artists, although they were probably starting at the bottom, they were entrusting her. Uh, yeah, you, you, the only, the problem with people who are trusting people, you just don't trust yourself. Right. That's one. Um, I think with my mother, she was a great teacher at showing you what she do, not explaining to you how to do it. Right. My okay. mother, she's the kind of teacher that she want to see if the students is bringing to the table and not doing what she do. So I automatically knew, I'm like, yo, now I don't have a vocal mother. Like she's straight stone cold with us. Right. Like she the kind of mother, like you don't wake up, go to school. She's like, oh, it's okay. That's your little stupid ass, but you gonna get the fuck out of my house when you get grown. <laughs> That's definitely. Like, I'm telling you, she, she ain't with no cookie cutting. Right. So for me, I want to, I say, you know something, Walker? This is what I'm great at. I have to find everywhere my mother's weak at. Right. And fill in for strength. Okay. So it's like, why would I go do the same job she did if she spent X amount of years to do it? I need to come here and build on it. Right. Because I watch a lot of kids from my neighborhood, like black kids, Everything their parents do, they'll do the opposite. Right. And I never understood that. I'm like, yo, if your parents working for 20 years, why wouldn't you build around that? Right. So that's all I did, man. I yeah. just, I went everywhere my mother needed filling at. And handled it. I'm a mama's boy, excuse me. If I never had a girl out of state living with my mother. How long had your mom been in the rap, in, in the music industry? Sure, nah, we've been, our, our family's been connected to music since Run DMZ. Wow. Like, these folks are all through the house. Like any kind of artist, I just don't want any name and stuff. I really don't like stuff. Like right. That. But I promise to you, everybody's in my grandmother's house. Right. 
Or all, any rapper you probably can think about. Well, then if you saw that growing up, what made you want to go to the hustle game? If you saw that, what your, your what your mom and what your grandma and what it, you could become, why'd you go the opposite? You say you don't understand when you see kids do the opposite of what their parents do, but you were doing the opposite. Was I? <laughs> yeah, you were doing the opposite. I don't, you know, I would love to answer that question, but I can't. <laughs> when Gooch, you say you, you tagged along with Gooch. But so when did, when Gooch went to a club man. Is that when you started rapping? Nah, actually, man, I started rapping because Gooch kept going to jail in the beginning. Right. Like, he couldn't even stay out of jail for a year straight. It's like miscellaneous stuff. Then it got to a point where locally, people was like, oh, Walker, you made it. I'm like, nigga, I only got $3,000 in my pocket. Like, <laughs> so when I was trying to do stuff that I normally do, people looking at me like, man, why you over here, bro? You know you ain't got to do this. Y'all lit. Right. I'm like, no, the fuck we ain't. So it forced me to get in the studio and become a rapper. I remember when I was becoming a rapper, Goose like, man, I don't like you rapping, man. You need to be a goon. I'm like, what? The huh? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, hell no. But in my head, I'm like, eh, nigga, I'm about to make us big. Like, right. We're not about to fall. Right. So that's all it was. It was about just picking the team up and running right. with it. That's all I wanted to do. So the Brick Squad, your, your crew, your clique. So how did you come up with the name? How do you like, okay, this is what we're going to do. I, I, I'm done with that. All that other stuff that I used to do, I'm done. This is... This is my tunnel vision. Because you seem like a very focused. Like, when you set your mind to something, whatever it is, oh, it's good, bad, and different, when you set your mind to something, you going down that road. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to send an army. <laughs> you know, I'm the guy that don't change, though. I'm the guy that evolved. Right. So I just wanted to evolve. It wasn't about, like, what I did and right. not doing it. I evolved from that. So how you say we came from a crew, a clique, to a company? Right. To an organization. Correct. So that's what I want. I'm like, yo, Walker, you can do it. It's just like, how could you not do this, man? This is America. So how do you org- how did you organize? Because you're like by making a, a million fucking mistakes. And and every mistake, And none of them broke you. None of nothing. Man, break me. How could you break me? I'm like it's nothing in the world is gonna break me. I could walk with no arms and legs. I'm still never gonna be broken. I got my mind, man. Gucci was on the joint, got clean. You and him had a falling out. Considering man, how me and Gucci ain't been best of friends since my first fucking mixtape. Y'all not best of friends. We always was like this, like but, but, I mean, but, you know, he, he started here, you, you was piggybacking, or you was tailing a truck, what, what, whatever term you wanted. Nigga, I don't give a damn, whatever they want you. What, 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 what happened? Man. You said he didn't want you to rap. He wanted you to be hey, that look, dude. King, look, look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm over talking about it. But it's his life. Right. I know I ain't do nothing flaw. Right. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, but y'all, but y'all, 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 y'all cordial. Of course, man, we good. Okay. But it's just like he's doing something totally different. I wouldn't move how he moved. Right. I couldn't do that. I'm just sorry. Like, and he happy doing what he's doing. Right. And shit, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Right. So if we ever, if it ever intertwines some in, in a time and a place, then hey, it just it's what it is. But he happy, man. That, and to me, that's all I ever wanted to see my dog happy. Right. So he happy being where he at. I don't I don't gotta be there. Right. I cheer for a nigga a mile away. I don't care. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.